In the history of human struggle against gravity, humans have invented airships, airplanes, and helicopters to achieve the goal of flight. Each of these flying devices has its own advantages and disadvantages. For example, helicopters are flexible but cannot fly high, while airships have long hover times but relatively poor flying control. Can we combine the advantages of these two different flying machines? Of course, the famous V-22 Osprey can be seen as a combination of a helicopter and a fixed-wing aircraft, and the main character of this article, the Piasecki PA-97 Helistat Heavy Lifting System, is a combination of a helicopter and an airship. The PA-97 is an experimental equipment developed by the Piasecki Aircraft Corporation in the 1980s. Its origin can be traced back to a contract signed between the U.S. Navy and the Bureau of Land Management in 1980 to develop a heavy vertical transport aircraft for timber transportation. If it was just for timber transportation equipment, the Navy would not have had to be involved. The military must have seen the military application prospects of the project. Simply put, the PA-97 combines four Sikorsky H-34 helicopters and a Z-Class airship. The H-34 is a piston-engined helicopter developed by Sikorsky in 1954, and it was a successful aircraft at the time, with a total production of about 2,000. The Z-Class airship is a large non-rigid airship developed by the Goodyear Aircraft Company shortly after World War II, filled with helium and primarily used for patrols. The combination of these two was not easy. The designers modified the H-34 helicopter by removing the tail rotor and landing gear, while retaining the original power and rotor structure of the helicopter. It seems that the cockpit of the aircraft was also retained, but it should not accommodate pilots, perhaps only observers. Aluminum tube frames were installed on both sides of the airship's gondola, with two modified H-34s fixed on each side and four-wheeled landing gear under the frame. The rotor control of the helicopter was centralized into a control system, operated by one pilot, similar to a helicopter. Some of the PA-97's movements are also achieved by adjusting the rotor blades. For example, all rotor blades are adjusted forward for forward flight, and the control system also adjusts the airship's tail surfaces, assisting the rotor system in pitching and yawing the PA-97. According to the plan, the PA-97 does not have an internal cargo hold, and it transports goods by hoisting. The airship and helicopter together provide the lift required for flight. The presence of the helicopter's rotor system enhances the flight control capability of the PA-97, theoretically allowing it to fly backwards like a normal helicopter. It can easily reach deep into the jungle to transport heavy logging equipment or other goods. The PA-97 is approximately 104.5 meters long, and it should be the largest powered lifting system in human history. However, it is only an experimental aircraft, and the expected payload capacity of future mature versions will be between 60 and 200 tons. The fate of this sole prototype was also tragic. It made its first flight on April 26, 1986, and during a test flight on July 1st, it was affected by a gust of wind, causing vibrations in the aircraft's aluminum frame and the ground resonance that helicopters fear the most. The vibration damaged the frame, causing the rear right helicopter rotor to cut into the airship's envelope, and the other three helicopters fell off as the frame collapsed. The envelope rapidly lost air, losing lift and causing severe damage to the entire aircraft. The experiment with the PA-97 demonstrated that this combination of multiple rotor blades and an airship presents some technical challenges, including the aforementioned vibrations, as well as issues with unified control of the rotor blades and balanced power output. Particularly, it had poor resistance to damage. If one of the rotor blades had a problem, it would be equivalent to a catastrophic event. Therefore, the project was terminated.